I'm talking to Bob Montgomery, who's the Vice President Properties of Southwest Airlines. Uh, Bob was the second keynote address speaker here at Network. Bob, welcome. Nice to talk to you. Thank you, um, Mike. Southwest this year, you're actually reducing capacity for almost the first time in your history. T tell us what's been compared. It is the first time in our history, uh, and with uh, costs, with the, with the environment, uh, it doesn't make sense to add aircraft to fly the other routes. So what we're trying to do is, is prune uh, the unfruitful flight, uh, the unprofitable flight, and uh, weed it out of the network. And the net result of that is about an average 4% uh, increase in size. That won't be uniform across all markets. It's really targeted at our unprofitable flight uh, so that we can protect the business. But you are expanding into some new airports this uh, year. Tell us which ones those are. Yes, absolutely. We've uh, already announced Minneapolis-St. Paul, which we open up on March 8th, uh, just next week. Uh, we are have announced LaGuardia, and that will open up in the second half of the year. We have to get through the bankruptcy process first and get the slot kicked so we don't have a specific time, but it'll be the second half of 2009. And then we've announced Boston, which we will uh, fly into in the fall. Now, these are quite higher cost airports cons compared to, say, the, the more traditional, to an extent, airports you fly. Just tell me what's the difference, because it's, and, and what you're going to have to do to make profits at those airports. Well, we're going to have to charge ticket prices uh, that will overcome the, the particular airport costs. And because we're able to make that decision now, we can be pretty confident that when our passengers are going to Tampa Bay uh, to fly into those particular destinations, um, it really isn't departing from the Southwest model of, of uh, low cost. It's just that in this particular instance, where we have capacity that we can fly and we have destinations that our passengers want to fly to, we're able to offer this service. Now, this service is going to be uh, substantially different what we have done in the past. Usually we've been after high frequency and uh, really trying to grow the marketplace so a, a city would open with somewhere around 15 departures a day and we would hope to grow that in a very short order to uh, 30 or even 100. Uh, these we're going to be starting off at a much more modest level uh, with uh, just a handful of flights per day and then we'll see what the customer's reaction is, what our profitability is, what our experience is change from there. And your cost base is quite high. I think it's $25 uh, mainly compared to $5 uh, at, at some of your other airports. Is, is that right? Uh, well, at LaGuardia, I think that their average, uh, and don't hold me accountable for this, I think their average cost per passenger is around uh, 23 uh, We expect ours to be a little bit less due to our productivity and use of facilities, so we'll be under $20 a passenger easily. But it is right there at the top of our, of our system in terms of cost per passenger. Again, it's going to be limited. It's a small amount, um, and we are going to be operating, say, 100 flights a day. Uh, this is uh, this is more. And one of the uh, things that got quite a got a good reaction from the audience was your international aspirations. Take us through it. I mean, you've got these co-chairs with uh, Valaris and WestJet, which will start in the next uh, 12 months or so, maybe a bit longer. Is, is it, but tell us what your uh, Southwest's approach to international is. I mean, you're not going gung ho, are you? I think. Well, uh, there's uh, always risk in going gung-ho over things that you don't know fully about. So we're trying to learn about the international marketplace. We've uh, announced our partnerships with both WestJet and Valaris, and if you go to southwest.com, uh, you'll see both of their logos there, and there's a, a link to take you to their individual websites. As we get our other systems transformed and capable to interact in the international marketplace, uh, you'll, you'll see destinations and fairs start to show up, and that'll probably be this fall sometime uh, as, the, as the geeks uh, uh, complete their, their individual tasks. One final question. Um, are you going to charge passengers to use the uh, lavatory on your airplane? <laughs> we are the no-fee airline. Uh, we're going to let them go for free. That's, that's Absolutely. perfect. Thank you very much. <laughs> Bob, it's been a pleasure. Thank you very much. Nice Mark, to see you. Thank you. All the best.